and welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be a protective style as you can see as you know by the title I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do some braids plaits whatever you want to call them just a little protective style that I wanted to do I am going on vacation next week and I did not want to put any extensions in my hair didn't want to pay for it and I felt like I had enough hair <laughs> to make some shake and this is what I pretty much came up with but when you are protective style and of course you know a few of your products change and so I had a company reach out to me healthy thicker curls this is a black owned brand so they have a sulfate free shampoo they have a nourish and repair leave-in conditioner and they have a cream with shea butter, olive oil, jojoba oils, and sunflower oils. And they also have an oil as well that has a nozzle, which is really good when you have protective style and some braids or something. If you have a little itch, make sure you just rub in some oils on your hair just to stimulate some hair growth, all that good stuff. And this is like a protective style and starter kit, like legit. All right, so I don't want to hold you guys up any longer. Let's just get right into the video. shampooed and conditioned my hair as you guys just saw and just my thoughts on the shampoo and conditioner already this shampoo was really good it smelled like a banana popsicle I know you guys hear me say that a lot and I really 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 like this shampoo it sussed up and my hair felt very clean but very moisturized I could really detangle my hair with that product in so I do like it and this leave-in conditioner so if you guys don't know when you're blow drying your hair you don't want a lot of uh, a lot of heavy moisturizers in your hair and for low porosity girls a very light moisturizer will actually serve your hair more justice than something very thick it melts right into your hair so this leave-in conditioner y'all it is it reminds me so much of the white peony by Mayel organics but it is in a spray form which I love and it is thicker than that one so I actually like it it's not too much thicker because it still has like a nice light consistency but this is perfect when I say perfect this is perfect for blow drying out hairstyles it's good okay it's good so those are the only two products I've used on my hair so far and I've blow dried my hair like I said I'll link that above so that you guys can check that out so now I'm actually gonna do my braids because I'm going on a cruise I need a comb so yeah I wanted to go ahead and just blow dry my hair and just do some plaits all over kind of like box braids but not really so I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by parting my hair at the bottom I don't know how big I want them yet so this is about to be some trial and error um they also have a cream and it's a very thick cream so I'm, pr I'm pretty excited about that I didn't want anything super light because I want my hair to be stretched and so I'm just gonna add just a little bit of this I don't want anything that's super water-based It is 3.23. We're going to see when we finish. Because this seems like it's about to take a long time. Just going to leave that just like that. Because we're actually going to wet these at the ends. Well, the ends are going to be wet and curled under. But I'm just going to go ahead and continue braiding. And I'm going to cut some of this out, guys. I'm not going to show you guys me doing the whole thing. Because that will be a long video. But I am going to show you guys when I finish this row and then we'll keep going from there.
this is the final look from the clip that you saw. Um, all I've done is added some accessories, made sure my ends were nice and wet and coiled. And this is pretty much it, guys. It's just a nice, easy hairstyle, honestly. You have to blow dry. If you do it on wet hair, it's not necessarily going to come out as long. You're not going to have as much length as I have. So, um, try not to start off on wet hair. So, that's why I blow it out my hair just so I can, you know, get more length and stuff. And then I just kind of wet the ends again and did some kind of finger coils and here we are. I'm not a huge fan of oils, but this oil has soybean, almond oil, grapeseed oil, and coconut oil all in one. I do like that it has a little nozzle so that you can go right in. I'm actually going to add some oils to my hair right now. To my scalp, rather. Definitely going to be taking this on the trip just because when I get out of that water, y'all, I don't want my um, scalp to be irritating, so... I don't know how to back look, but I don't really care. I'm probably going to have, like, visors on all week. So, honestly, I did not care. I'm going to be swimming. And as soon as I get back, I got to take them out because I have to work, of course. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video on Monday. Have a great weekend. I'll see you then. Bye.